Welcome to this week in I don't know what I'm doing. This is the first time I've ever tried to make RV furniture. Did I get that right? Did I get that right, Coco? Let's uh, let's take a look at what I'm doing. What do you think, Coco? She's wet, so that means she does not go on the furniture, even if it's not done. So I am trying my best to make some RV furniture here, and uh, I'm sure it looks horrible because sometimes I think it does but uh, my plan here is we've got some drawer there's gonna be drawers underneath three drawers this is gonna be a sofa and then you can see this on the back is kind of starting to come together if I would have been smart and I was really knew what I was doing I would have cut this whole piece out of, uh, I would have cut it all out of one piece out of Vogue ply. Now I'm gonna sand some of this stuff and it's gonna be stained. I did accidentally cut that there. Uh, I'll fill that with something. It'll, uh, it's gonna all be kind of a dark stain and it covers up all kinds of. Oh, oh geez. I'm dropping stuff. So that's kind of the way the back is going to look. Uh, in a minute here, I'll show you kind of what I'm planning to do for the arms. There's going to be four inches of foam. And then uh, probably the same on the back, maybe only two or three, depending. Uh, this is the back of a dinette. This is obviously the other back of the dinette. There's not going to be a normal back on this one because we want this one to kind of be part of the sofa so it could be used as a uh, small bed if need be we really want to avoid the whole convertible furniture thing uh, just for a number of reasons i haven't seen many convertible furniture items that have storage underneath <clears throat> if you can tell most of our bus stuff uh, all the conversion things were really big into storage so i'm trying to put drawers under everything and this is really the reason why we didn't go ahead and buy normal stuff I wanted stuff that would fit with our space and also had a lot of built-in storage. So you can kind of take a look at the construction here. You'll see these, uh, these little notches underneath. underneath. Uh, my plan is to run uh, LED light strips underneath. So, and this is kind of set up actually like the inside would be. Uh, this is driver's side passenger side entry uh, it's almost positioned to scale I think these are about two feet apart and these ended up being rather than two normally these are two feet deep I made these 22 inches deep to give us just a little bit more room over there we tested it out sitting on it a little bit I think we're gonna be okay we use some kind of test uh, padding there so drawers pull out of here maybe do some lighting inside when you pull it out little things light up I'm going to convert this dinette bench to be like this where there's slats inside because I need to be able to when I put these in I need to be able to get down and screw in uh, attach this to the to the bus floor and to the sides and stuff when it's just completely finished like that I can't I can't get in there really other than through the side but it's 33 and a quarter inches Deep, so that makes it pretty tricky okay so I have to do some more bracing this isn't even attached or anything like this this is attached a little bit you know it's I'm wiggling it here and it's not really moving everything but this would just fall apart so uh, I'm gonna take a seat here on the other part this uh, the idea here is we'll have a piece of wood of some kind going over this right and then that is um, and that's going to be just kind of like this, like slats. Um, so we can get down at the bottom part to screw that into the bus frame and everything, or the, the floor. But then the, uh, there'll be a board that we'll attach our foam to. And then over that is uh, a vinyl that goes over top of that. And it's the same way that boat uh a lot of boat cushions are done and i mean 
a lot of RV stuff too. Uh, they're not going to be ones that you can just pull off and rearrange. They're stuck here. They're not. They're not going anywhere. So this is going to be up at an angle, you know, four inches, and uh, then this is the same way here, and this should form a nice, uh, you know, little armrest or place to lay your head, whatever. Remember, this is uh, this week, and I don't know what I'm doing, so. <sighs> I gotta run, uh, playing some more hockey there. Hey, we just won our, uh, we won our championship game. I don't have the shirt. Where's the shirt? I don't know. Look at that bus. Doesn't that look good? Works really good at drying my hockey gear. Oh, really can't wait to get it out. I'm gonna get some new rubber up front. Let me, uh, oh, I'll just show you the... I didn't even realize it, but I have to thank, again, Scott Crosby for showing me where the date codes were on my tires and stuff, but I don't know if you can see the look at this. I didn't even see this before, this checking here. Uh, yeah, it's just in, I did not realize how bad my tires were in or what kind of shape they were in. These tires are actually 11 years old. I've been rolling the dice every time I've driven on them and I didn't even know it. So. I'm hoping to drop the bus off tomorrow, get some new rubber on there, shop down the road takes care of that for me. So that's where that's at. Here, let's take a quick peek inside. Got to do a little bit of cleanup in here, but this is everything out of here. Uh, there's that pantry I, I worked on too. When it's all stained up, I think it looks real good. And, and uh, uh, I re we really like these uh, the darker stained finished colors. So there's gonna be shelves in that. It'll be real nice. And a door that closes, and it'll, it'll all light up when you open it up. It's gonna be real nice. But slowly but surely coming along. Again, the rest of this is all gonna be we're gonna do vinyl wall covering. I got a shop where I found some pretty reasonably priced. So that's it. Uh, hope. Uh, you learned something? Hopefully I do. Bye guys.